from the Capitol tonight, a bill making its way through the House would allow public schools to hire religious chaplains to counsel students. Well, some people argue it would violate the separation of church and state statute. News Force's Spencer Humphrey is here with the arguments from both sides tonight. Spencer? Yeah, guys, the bill's author says it's all about giving students of faith more options. Now, what's interesting, though, is some of the biggest opponents of this idea are actually faith leaders themselves. The bill would allow school districts to employ or accept one or more volunteer chaplains to counsel and support students as long as they get approval from their local school board. It also says schools can't choose any chaplains who've been convicted of or are a defendant for any crime that would require them to register as a sex offender. The bill's author, State Representative Kevin West, says it would be an option for schools to expand or fill holes on support staffs. We've uh, heard a lot of talk about, you know, a lot of those uh, support uh, staff people, such as counselors, having shortages there. I felt like this would be a, a good way to uh, open that door to possibly get some help. He's confident the concept of chaplains in public schools is perfectly legal. We have chaplains in the military. Uh, that's been challenged before. Uh, but we also have had uh, chaplains in the schools in the past. So, uh, you know, I, I don't think that it runs afoul of, of any of, of that. But Reverend Shannon Fleck with the Oklahoma Faith Network isn't so sure. When we talk about employing a chaplain, that's public dollars employing a religious professional for a public school district. And that is definitely an unconstitutional idea. She's also not sure military chaplains are a fair comparison. They have to go through a special 12-week course. It's multi-faith and neutral and doesn't hold any particular religion above another. But right now, this bill wouldn't require anything like that. West says he is planning to update the bill with some clarifications. The, the chaplains would be um, ones that are certified from uh, their faith group. They can be a minister, a rabbi, a priest, an Im imam, a uh, lay leader, or similar functioning within that faith group. Now, Wes tells me he also plans to add language to that bill clarifying students would not be required to interact with their school's chaplain if they don't want to.